today was the first day or the first or I should say the first time that we went shopping at Sam's Club. I used to have a BJ's membership a while ago, but I've never had a Costco and I've never had a Sam's Club membership. Today was my first day and I, not gonna lie, I was a little overwhelmed, really excited, and I think I was just taken back by all the cool stuff foods and it was like so hard not to like want to get everything so for now i just got what we needed got some snacks for the kids got some stuff for dinner meals breakfast all over the place but today i kind of just wanted to get like a feel for sam's club before doing more bigger hauls i mean this was a pretty big haul we spent about i think 240 dollars that was included with upgrading our membership as well so i wanted to mention that so 50 dollars of that was to upgrade our membership so let me go ahead and show you guys and i'm going to also tell you like my plans for some of the things that i got what i'm going to be using it for and you guys will have to let me know if you want to see more of these hauls in the future so if you guys have ever watched any of my grocery hauls before you know that the kids particularly more more so harlow really really loves the little muffin packs by Edamons. I think that's how you say it, that brand. She loves those muffin packs so much, but she actually pointed out these and she wants to try these muffins. She just is a huge muffin fanatic. She loves them so much. So it comes with 40 muffins total. There's five banana nut, five chocolate chip, and then 10 blueberries, which is probably the ones that she's going to like. They're like little twin packs. And then underneath it, we got some boneless chicken tenderloins. So we're gonna be using this for dinner. We're probably gonna take it out and separate it and freeze some. And then tonight we are gonna be doing chicken hibachi on the Blackstone with fried rice. We're actually gonna do a whole video on different food or dinner, I should say, dinner recipes on the Blackstone. So stay tuned for that. So we're gonna use it for that. And then also me and Frank are gonna start our food prepping that we were doing before. We were doing a lot of chicken tenderloins with veggies. So got a huge pack of that. And then also my favorite detergent. I love these Gain Flings. And usually I just get the huge container of them. But I saw at Sam's, they have 152 Flings. And you guys know, we go through so much laundry. I can't remember the exact price of this, but I know it's definitely a deal compared to what I was spending before. So I got a huge, huge box of that. I'm really, really excited. <laughs> you know you're an adult when you're excited about a huge box of detergent pods. And then we got some rusted potatoes. We're gonna be doing breakfast for dinner one night. So we're gonna do some potatoes on the Blackstone and then we can use these for so many different things. Baked potatoes, fries, roasted potatoes with steak. So many ideas for that as well. And then this is gonna also be for tonight. We got a pound of shrimp. We're gonna, like I said, make the chicken hibachi and we're gonna put some shrimp on there as well. And then Harlow also picked these out. Harlow and Scarlett and Fletcher are the ones that went shopping with us today. Actually, Aria and Nolan are currently at recovery camp. It's like a summer camp for them. So they're gone. So they were gone this morning to that. But Harlow picked out the mandarin oranges, little fruit cups. And then we got a Bisquick pancake and baking mix. The kids love pancakes. I feel like I'm always making pancakes on the weekends in the morning and then I also told you guys we're doing breakfast for dinner. So I got a big box of that, some watermelon, bananas. We also go through bananas like crazy. Got a thick cut Smithfield cherry wood smoked bacon. Another thing that we always, I try to get the stuff that we always go out of first. When we do breakfast for dinner, this is always the number one thing that everybody wants. It wants a lot of, so these two packs will definitely come in handy. And then for tonight, I'm gonna use this teriyaki sauce. As soon as I get done filming this haul and show you guys everything, I'm gonna put everything away, get the chicken tenderloin, start cutting it up and marinating it in this sauce. Got a bag of nectarines. And then also some chicken breast. These are Southern style chicken bites. They kind of remind me of the Chick-fil-A. I'll show you guys better, but they kind of remind me of the chicken nuggets from there. And the kids really, really like their chicken nuggets. So we'll try to make these for like a quick, easy lunch or dinner. Also got some bell peppers. I am obsessed with bell peppers. I love using them for so many different things. We're gonna do a cheesesteak dinner recipe this week as well. And I love to cut up peppers and some onions and it's good with hummus. So I'm just really glad because I feel like I'm always running out of bell peppers when I need them. So I'm glad I can get like a big bag of those. Low fat Greek yogurt drinks. I remember telling you guys that the kids love like the little yogurt drinks, but I feel like they're just never enough. And they did have a huge bag or a box of Danimals, but I saw these and they're a little bit bigger. So there's more yogurt in there. So it comes with 12 bottles, six of the mixed berry, and then six banana or strawberry and banana. And they also have 10 grams of proteins and probiotics as well. Got a big box of white rice. Now, usually we're not 
huge white rice people, but we couldn't find like a big, we were trying to find like a big brown rice box, but we couldn't find it. So we just settled for this instead. And we're gonna use it for the fried rice tonight. Got a four pound bag of frozen blueberries. I love to have frozen berries and fruit with my yogurt for breakfast in the morning. And the kids like these. These are also really good for pancakes to make blueberry pancakes, smoothies, the ideas are endless. And then a box of Velveeta cheese, mac and cheese. I think in my last grocery haul, I told you guys that the kids like this better than Kraft. So we went ahead and stocked up on those. And then I saw they had a couple different popsicles. This one caught my eye. It's an Italian ice. And right now, you guys know if you have kids in the summer, it's hot. We go through these like crazy. You're probably going through these and popsicles like crazy right now. Like the kids want one, two every single day. So this one has 96 popsicles. There's lemon and they had like really unique flavors, which I like. Orange cream, kiwi, watermelon, blue raspberry, strawberry, and berry lemonade. So I think the kids are going to be really excited and happy about that. And then Frank, he wanted some of these ruffles, which I am trying not, I'm trying to be healthy again because I kind of went off my diet for a little bit and stopped exercising, but now it's time to get back and start working out and eating healthier. And of course, he had to pick out my favorite chips. These are my favorite chips and got a huge bag of it. And then we did get some broccoli. We also love this for a side for dinner, our meal prep. And I love that there's four different pouches in here, so it's not like a huge bag of broccoli and then you don't know what to do with it you can take each pouch out microwave it and then you got your steamed broccoli and then i also got some cinnamon french toast sticks for the kids we might even try to put this on the blackstone we're gonna put some pancakes on there but we maybe we'll try these as well and then a big box of cheez it's these are nolan's personal favorites i was tempted to get like the huge boxes of Cheez-Its, but I'm just like, I'll keep it easier and they can just have like their individual pouch because it's gotten to the point now. I'm just telling the kids like, just go into the pantry, get your snacks and just, you know, grab it for yourself. It's just easier for them to grab little pouches like this. And then we can never go wrong with these chip mixes. This one has 50 bags. So Fritos, Lay's, Ruffles, Doritos, Cheetos, they go through these so fast. So I'm so glad I could find a huge box. And they had so many different varieties as well. I think they had like six different boxes like this with all different kinds of chips as well. But I think that's everything that we got. Like I said, I kind of just wanted to get a feel for Sam's Club first. And I also wanted to ask you guys, what are your must haves? And I'll be honest too, I just went grocery shopping and stocked up on other things. So there was things that I saw that I can definitely use like household stuff, but I just didn't need it right now. I'm so excited now that I can go just to Sam's and buy things in bulk, like paper towels, for example. And on top of that, there were so many other things that were so tempting that I was so close to getting that sounded so good. So let me know down below what are your guys' must-haves. And then the second portion of this video will be another thing that we got from Sam. So you guys stay tuned for that. All right, you guys. So I told you to stay tuned in the last clip for the second part of this video. So I showed you guys all the food-related stuff that we got from Sam's. But when we went there yesterday, they had... First of all, they have everything, like all the awesome kid stuff on display. Second of all, they have a lot of things on display. I wanted to buy so much when I was in there, but I had to reframe. So there was two different playhouses and the kids saw the playhouses and one was out of stock, like the bigger one, but the other one was at a decent price, like $300 for a really, really nice playhouse. Uh, well, let's just say $2.99 for a playhouse, but it's really, really nice. I think it's the Kid Craft brand, which that is a really nice brand. We have several other things from that brand and it, it's good, it's solid. So the girls kept talking about it all day and I kept telling Frank, I'm like, you know what, that's a really good deal for a playhouse, a wooden playhouse. And I think we should go back and get it. So today, so I can't remember the name of the other playhouse that was there that was out of stock, but this one's called the Lakeside Bungalow and it, ha it has a little kitchen sink. It has a working doorbell. It has two chalkboards with a clock doggy door and then this is what it looks like somebody actually messaged me on instagram they're like you should flip it now it's already nice on its own but i was thinking you know what that could be a really cool idea flipping the playhouse and maybe repainting it and we can put some flowers in here like they have in the picture because these don't come with the um or the playhouse doesn't come with the flowers oh and it has a little birdhouse as well and maybe put like maybe put a little reef on here uh doormat maybe some curtains or something so let me know if you guys would like to see that and i'll do a whole video showing you 
what I do, how I do it, and how I go about redoing this playhouse. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and put it together. We're thinking of putting it right here and taking this bed out. Don't even ask about this huge cabbage over here. This was a school project months ago for Aria. She planted a cabbage. She had brought it home from school. It was like a little tiny, tiny, cabbage at the time she planted it there forgot about it and one day it just exploded it's probably not even edible anymore so we're thinking since this is a really flat area right here and there's not much grass right here anyways that we'll go ahead and maybe put the playhouse right here we just have to take out this oh wow you've already put that together you, put it the other you did it backwards we also got this little storage thing let me show you guys here on the box I think this is only 30 or 40 bucks. We got this at Sam's too. It's a little storage box. I think people usually use them by the poolside, but we're gonna put the kids' toys in it just to keep this area clean, like their balls and extra toys like that we'll put in here. Right now I'm standing in the corner. I see you from across the room. It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh, everybody's singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. You're looking so old. Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you Just say the word and we can leave this place I'll take you anywhere you want Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you Let her in. Thank you, Hello. So before I end this video, I had to show you guys how the playhouse turned out. I think what happened was, well, I might be better now. We left it out in the sun the whole day yesterday and it kind of, I don't know if you guys can tell, but on this side, you can probably see it's a little dented in. I don't know if it got warped or, I don't know, I'm not sure. So you guys can probably see a little bit better view over here. So I'm hoping that that doesn't keep happening because it does get pretty hot here. And where we plan on putting it, like I showed you guys before, half the day or the sun will be on it half the day. So we'll see. But other than that, it is completely put together. It has a little fence right here. And I told you guys my plan. So that will be, again, a future video. I'm probably gonna go next week to Lowe's to get everything. It was actually really cute. Yesterday, the kids put a whole bunch of flowers in here. But I have a lot of plans for this playhouse. It does have like a little kitchen right here, a little stove. And then over here, it has a little chalkboard. Right, actually there's two chalkboards on that side, that side, a clock, a little doggy door. Oh, also has this little shelf right here, birdhouse, little doorbell, the door opens. And it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I couldn't really tell. I mean, I could a little bit from the display, but all four kids can sit in here if they want to. Like you can see Harlow and Scarlett are in here right now and there's still plenty of room. Also, I was thinking when we move it over there of getting some artificial grass to go underneath it that way they're not getting dirty or muddy and just being on dirt 
or pavers. I haven't decided yet. So either artificial grass or pavers. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys. Bye.